uh, financial literacy is especially very um, very useful for us teenagers and for young adults, especially in this day and age. So let's give it up for Sophia. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sophia R and I'm in 7C. Today I'm going to be talking about the importance of financial literacy. As a little girl, I thought that money came out of the wall of the bank. Until that, my parents explained to me to get that money, you need to work for it, save it, and then only you can spend it. That's why to teach me about responsibility about money, my parents gave to me my first pocket money when I was five years old. And I've been saving it ever since. But financial literacy is different for different ages. So if I had to give a few pointers to my friends, it would be this. Have a budget. A budget allows you to see what you have and don't have. It is good to create a budget for the things you want to do. It also helps you distinguish between the things you need and the things you want. If you master budgeting, you're off to a very good start already. Saving. It sounds boring, but it's very intelligent and important to save. Saving is the key to keeping your financial situation healthy, even if this sounds boring. Learning to save early on can help you gain the set of skills that you can use for the rest of your life. But if this sounds a little overwhelming, start saving for small things first. If you're saving your pocket money, it's good to understand that you shouldn't go off and buy things. Like when I bought my first iPad, it, it was very tempting not to buy different other things with my pocket money. But thinking about my iPad at the end made me save more. OK, still think it sounds boring? Let's think of all the video games we play, Fortnite, Roblox. You need to save coins in order to buy avatars, skins, upgrades, materials. So if you can save in virtual reality, why can't you save in real life? Speaking from experience, buying something with the money that you have saved makes you feel quite good about yourself. Another important point in saving is compounding. You might be asking, what is compounding? Well, compounding is when, compounding is when you have an investment and you have interest. And when you leave that investment and interest in, the, in your account, the interest value will increase. Einstein famously once said, compounding interest is the eighth wonder in the world. He who understands it, earns it. He who doesn't, pays for it. My third point, credit and debt. We all know what credit cards are, as most adults use them. Although it looks fun to type and swap a card, you should know that some adults fall into credit card traps. That's because the banks are very happy to let you spend money on a credit card. But if you do not have this money on your account, you can get into trouble. That's because to repay the bank, they charge you high interest. So in the end, you're kind of paying much more than you received. My fourth point, identity theft and safety. In ICT, we are learning about how to use this internet safely. Why don't we extend this knowledge to safe banking? Financial information can be very easily hacked or stolen. So it's important that we understand what password protection and limiting the amount of information we use online to keep our finances safe. My last point, cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies are the next innovation. Cryptocurrencies are digital assets. And in the cryptocurrency model, you don't need any bank as money flows from person to person. The most known cryptocurrency is Bitcoin. But there are many other cryptocurrencies out there. For people like us who live in a digital world, the cryptocurrency model makes sense. And a lot of people are interested in it because of the profits that you make from it. But cryptocurrencies are very high risk. So it's good that you remember these two pieces of information. Do your own research on it and only invest the money that you can invest. Now you might be thinking, how does a 12 year old all know this? Well, it's because my, I was very fortunate to have a dad who taught me all of this. At a young age, he taught me about saving, then compounding, and now at the beginning of lockdown, I invested in some stocks, six companies. And ever since, I've been doing very well. Thank you for listening to my talk. And I hope you